Greg here up in Minnesota, Egan, Minnesota to be exact, at our Manufacturing and Distribution Center, bringing a new video on sublimation inks and papers that can be used on mugs, t-shirts, uh, phone cases, anything that has a polyester coating or like a 100% polyester white shirt. Submite paper. The paper comes in 8.5 by 11 and an 11 17 and the ink is a cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which comes in a 140 milliliter container to be used in Epsons that are the bulk fill, which will save you a lot of money instead of cartridges. So, we took our 8.5 by 11 paper, we're going to be doing a mug. Uh, we printed four up on this, and um, I've trimmed two of them out that we're going to be using because I can wrap this around the mug and have the same print on both sides. Now, I just want to make sure that I'm getting this lined up so that they'll be equally distanced on each side. And then I'm going to use a tape, which is a heat resistant tape. Um, you don't want to use just any tape because it's going to end up sticking to your mug. Put that in place. and on the other side as well and place it in your mug press now we're going to be using medium pressure on this we're doing it for um, 40 seconds at 330 degrees Fahrenheit now the big thing is is that all the instructions for when you're talking to figuring out what your temperature is, what your time is. That all comes from the supplier of the mugs, the supplier of the t-shirts, the supplier of phone cases. Because we're using the same paper and the same ink on all of those different substrates. So you just have to be concerned about that. Um, the other thing is that when we take this out, this is a hot peel. It virtually falls off. I'm just going to grab the tape and pull it away. It notifies us and we take our mug out Peel the paper off, and there is your mug printed. It's simple, it's easy. Some might paper, some might ink, and there you go. RhinoTechInc.com. You know where to find us. Until then.